I know that's what the, the media are putting out. Um, we, it's a discussion. The Labor Party are very sensitive about death. They are quite obviously going to go after me. Uh, that would be their tactics. Um, and we've seen through the week their, ref their references to bearded ladies, freak shows and Ivan Milat. But none of this hyperbole and rhetoric will pay back one dollar of debt. And that is what is concerning me. And then when I find out through estimates that Mr Tanner didn't do a cost-benefit analysis on the largest infrastructure project in the history of our nation, the NBN, uh, I really start to get serious concerns about where we're off to. Minister, with the unemployment rate coming in at 5.3%, is it time to rein in all the stimulus spending that's been going on? The stimulus spending is already being reined in, Ron. The kind of stream of consciousness gibberish that you just heard from Senator Joyce demonstrates why he and Mr Abbott would be a gross risk to Australia's economy and prosperity. If he were to be the finance minister, his kind of ridiculous statements that Australia might default on its debt would spook foreign investors, yep. they would spook the yep. international markets, and that would lead to losses See, of jobs, another, the collapse this of the is value of the Australian dollar. A that risk to the Australia's Mr. prosperity is something that we cannot afford. They the kind of one-liners and glib statements that he is throwing out simply do not stack up. And okay, for somebody well, who well, cannot tell his millions from his billions or his trillions to be accusing okay. anybody else of lack okay. of attention to detail and it's laughable. Mr Tanner, I'll put a direct question to you. Mr Tanner, did you do a cost-benefit analysis on the largest infrastructure project there is a in the history of our nation? analysis occurring at the moment. There is an implementation study are you being doing done it now? by major advisors you, with respect to you, the detail of the implementation you, of the broadband you, network and Australia having been a broadband backwater do, so for 12 years under you're the you're government that you to, were part of is so finally going to get access to world-class broadband and, and that now. will ensure that so business productivity can improve. That will ensure that Australians can get the opportunities that they need to improve their businesses, to get better consumer products and all of that detail analysis is occurring now. For uh, 12 it's, years it's, we had gimmicks and we had programs that did nothing for broadband in this country the questions, and we are investing in broadband to, to ensure that, that we will have, have proper broadband in this country for Why did Australians. You not dot the that is what we're going to The gibberish that you come out with will not convince it's Australians just, that you are fit to manage the Australian listen, economy. That's the Labor Party. Listen to them. Well, I enjoyed that so much I forgot what the question was. Now, look...